All right, we are back in the garage today. We are going to be uh, getting into our next Tiger Tales video. This is chapter two. If you recall, the Tiger Tales is all about our progression through the tiger and our adventures that go along with that. Today, we are going to be looking at uh, picking up the third engine upgrade for the Tiger. It uh, takes us up 100 horsepower. Should provide some, uh, you know, needed mobility. We're a little slow right now, but, you know, we'll get the ultimate mobility it can have when we get to, you know, the fourth engine. Uh, we have to keep in mind that these videos were recorded just before um, 1.5 dropped today. So, they do not show the tire with any of the new uh, mobility buffs or anything like that. So, we'll have to uh, just keep that in mind the next time we do a Tiger Tales. It will already have the buffs available and... Uh, yeah, and then we'll see what happens with that as well. So, I think that's pretty good. Why don't we start some of the replays? All right, first battle underway. We are on the mines map, and uh, we are Tier 7 in a Tier 9 and Tier 8 game. So, we are going to try and avoid that uh, head-on fight if we can and head off over here. Heading south on the west side to go over to uh, what is normally the island. We'll try to come over here and get some uh, flanking shots into the enemies who are coming up the hill to meet up with ours at the crest near the flag there. Um, I think with the engine I am feeling some better mobility. Um, but we'll have to drive a little bit more to know for sure. It's not a, a massive change between the other engine. All right, we've got a couple enemies on the map here. Uh, no shots, there they are behind cover. That's fine. Let's see. Nope, nothing really going on here. It looks like some of them are backing off from our guys, maybe. Oh, that IS-6 took it. And we've taken out one of their mediums. That's nice. Let's see over here. Nobody off beside us. I'm going to keep an eye on oh, that IS-6. Is he backing out maybe into our uh, range? Ooh, he's really taking some shots. Oh, yeah, he's coming out. Took another hit. I don't know if we'll get one in on him or not. Oh, oh, very nice. We got the last hit. <laughs> yep, very last hit. Good job. Now, uh, let's, uh... Oh, slipped my thumb onto the fire button. Hi, caramba. I'm going to have to adjust these all over again. Oh, oh, a oh, whole enemy team seems to know what's left of them. is coming up behind our group here, so I think I'm going to head back over there as fast as my new extra 100 horsepower will take me. Which is not overly quick, but uh, I think acceleration is slightly better. I understand there's going to be quite a few uh, buffs to a lot of the German tanks, uh, mobility-wise for sure, in patch 1.5 coming out. Uh, oh, looks like we missed that one. I think someone else shot at the same time. It uh, didn't say we hit or did anything. Ah, that was a good one. Nice one at the top of the turret of that Tiger P. Uh, I don't know. Nope, Tiger P's gone. No other shots. Let's keep moving. There's still a group of our guys up there. We still already had two tanks. So three to one for us, but uh, tactics are changing here. Whoa, yes, we get one in them. That's great. Really good. Uh, I don't think we'll get any more shots on those guys. We're going to keep moving. Oh, I suppose we could have, but they were really hauling butt. So let's carry on. Yeah, we're still not blessed with a massive amount of mobility, but it isn't bad. It's uh, quite workable. What do we got here? We got around. Uh, yeah, there's still. Well, it's still three to one. Not too bad. I see they're uh, in the cap. Nope, no, they're out of the cap. We took from. <laughs> that guy who's in the gap is probably gone, so we're now four to one. And uh, that's quite a, quite a hurdle for them to jump. Let's see what we can do here with this guy. We've got. Oh, nice side shot. Oh, yeah. What a good one into him. Let's see. Oh, and he's going to be fighting. Looks like our Tiger 2 over there. Yep. We'll just give him as much support as we can. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we get one here. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Well, that's about, uh, that's well over 400 hit points we've taken off him so far. Get another one here. Yes. Oh, and our Tiger 2 finishes him off. No, the E50 did. Very nice. All right. We got one guy left. T 
here none. So the M103. Yeah. Oh, we put a good one on the side of his turret. He's really in a hard place. He doesn't have much. Not much he can do here. Another good one in his turret. Oh, he's looking this way now. We'll just get out of his view. Oh, and he's been taken out. He finished our Tiger II before he went, though. Good for him. We're fighting it out. Let's go look at some statistics. So in our first statistics screen here, we can see that we've got a third class mastery badge, a confederate medal, and a K's medal. Uh, not to mention 2,364 experience points. That's tripled because of uh, the event we're in right now. And a gross of 23,422 credits. A confederate medal is awarded when you damage more enemy vehicles or destroy their tracks at least four than any other player. Uh, targets were destroyed or lost in battle are included. Ricochet and non-penetrating are not included. This is all about uh, damage done. If two or more players score an equal number of hits, the achievement is awarded to the player who earned more XP in the battle. The achievement is only awarded once per battle. And the K's medal is awarded for achieving battle hero status. And here in the uh, team stats table, we can see that we are in a solid third place for our experience gained and a solid third place for damage points done. I think that's not too bad for being the low tank on the totem pole, the only tier seven in a tier nine match. Um, yeah, pretty good. Now on the other team, who did, uh, they had a patent over there who did a pretty good job. He's uh, 2,173 damage done. Uh, and their M103 also did a decent job at 1,937 damage points. And moving quickly through these battle results, we fired 10 shots. We direct hits of 8. We had 8 penetrations. 8 for 8. Pretty good. Enemies damage 5. Enemies destroyed 1. Damage caused, as we saw previously, 1,773 damage points. Very good. Looking at the credits here, we've got a gross of 23,422 credits. Uh, we spent 2,520 to rearm the vehicle, replenish the ammunition essentially, and we net out at 20,902 credits. And on the XP tally here, we've got 2,364 experience points. That is a record for us in this tank, and we've also got 117 free experience. Now that's great. I always like to say stack up those free XP's, they come in handy later, like they did for us today to uh, finish off getting that third engine so that we didn't have to, uh, you know, well, grind the whole darn thing. We use some of our free money. Okay, I think that uh, now that we're finished looking at the stats for battle one, let's move straight into replay number two. Start moving off here in our Tiger. We got a bunch of people sitting around. Don't know where they're going. Uh, we're going to head up the hill here. And uh, looks like we'll try and use our 100 horse to drag race KV4, which is not fair because he's getting a push. I think we're still taking him on, though. And IS3 is pulling away. Yeah, we even head up a little steeper. We're still keeping up with that at KV4. Now oh, we're pulling away. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Tank races. Interesting. Takes a long time. Okay, there's a heavy on the map. Do we have a shot? No, he's out behind cover. Let's keep rolling. Oh, KV4. Kissing our butt now on the way up the hill. Alright, what a cluster. Beep. Let's turn out of there. Those guys can have that space. Oh, we got a heavy on our left. Oh, look, do we have a shot here? Don't seem to. He must be behind that bunker there. We got the, uh, oh. This is nice. Yes. What a good a good one in that. It looks like the super perching over there. Da, da, da. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Oh. Okay. He has dropped out of sight. We've still got the... Oh, yeah, okay. He's always moved over there with the heavy. That's fine. Let's keep moving up here. Probably gonna pop, but he's gonna back out of there, I'm sure of it at some point. Now, oh yeah, here he comes. So we got a shot here, it looks like. Oh yeah, nice shot, very nice. I don't think he quite realizes we are where we are at the moment. They are base camping, can't really leave these guys here. I'm gonna finish these off if we can. I'm coming down and get that line. Nope, not quite. I'm hoping to be able to shoot him without that person. Oh, I'm bringing myself up too high here. Oh, look at this. He's being so nice to bring himself out for me. 
put a good one in the back end of that tank. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Get one more on him here. Oh, yes. And we take him out to boot. Very good. It does not look like the Pershing. Oh, we took a hit. I think I was probably from that Super Pershing. Yeah, most likely. Oh, IS-3. Guess what? You angled badly. I easily put holes in you when you're angled like that, dude. Uh, oh, there, a big American tank blocking my view. Oh, no, we didn't hit him. Oh, I thought he was there, but I must have just missed him. All right. Oh, we take one from the Yag Panther. And we, looks like we took his track off. He repairs it. And we'll put another blind shot in there. He's got to be around there. Oh, yeah, we got him. Oh, and we took another one back from him. Well, we're down probably about 30% on our hit points. Not too bad, though. Still quite a bit of life left in us. There goes our fat American heavy. Oof, and we take out the Egg Panther. Very nice. Yag Panther. Yes. Ah, uh, hello. IS-3. One for you. Yeah, oh yeah. I don't think he's even there looking at us. Uh, not quite. Oh, he is now. Oop. <laughs> so sorry. Okay. Let me take him out. Very nice. What we got going on here? They've got one left. So the Egg Panther 4. Our KV-4 buddy is, uh, working in Attempting to work him over. KV4 is really low on hit points, so I gotta get up here and give him a hand. Depending on the gun that Yag Panzer IV is packing, he could hurt him pretty bad. Oh, we need better angling, buddy. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he turns. Ah! We ricochet, and I believe he killed himself by running into the KV4. Sad. Let's look at some stats. So, right off the bat here in our first stat screen, after the second battle, we've got a third class mastery badge. 817 experience points and a gross of 24,768 credits. And in our team stats tables here, we can see that we are firmly in third place with 1,714 damage points dealt and 817 experience points gained. We have uh, three kills and one award, that award being that uh, third class mastery badge that we saw just a moment ago. And in the battle results uh, tables, we can see that we fired 12 shots. 11 direct hits with 10 penetrations, uh, 4 enemies damaged, 3 of them were destroyed, damage cost 1714, uh, damage cost with our assistance 303, we received 3 hits, 2 were penetrations, and 1 Rick O Shade. Our credit haul was relatively good, we grossed 24,768 credits. Ah, to repair and rearm the vehicle, it was 2,926 credits to repair and 3,024 credits to rearm. That gives us a net credit earning of 18,818. And last but certainly not least, our uh, experience points. We got 817 this battle and free experience added 40 points. Stack them up, save them for later. Well, folks, there we have it. It's another uh, episode of Tiger Tales on the books. I have to say that uh, the more I play the Tiger in uh, Blitz, the more I like it. I think this thing is only going to get more beastly, uh, the better I get at driving it as well. I get that final engine. I will we'll appreciate that very much too. Um, yeah, anybody uh, wants to do some Tiger platooning, that would be a fun Tiger Tale episode. Uh, let's try and get together on that. Um, yeah, well... If you guys are liking the video, please think about hitting the thumbs up underneath. And if you really like these videos, why not subscribe? You'll get a notice every time we put one up. And that way you don't miss out. Okay, folks, thank you very much for coming by and watching. And I'll catch you next time.